calendars to page 10 with leave of the body. We will go to page 10, House Bill 3394, Senator Bell. The gentleman indicates he wishes to proceed. Please read the bill. House Bill 3394, an act concerning business. Third reading of the bill. Senator Bell. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'm Madam President, I'm sorry. Uh, S Senate Committee Amendment Number 2 deletes all and becomes the bill. As amended, the bill removes the mandate that any corporation have a minimum number of women and or minority persons on their board of directors and instead focuses on gathering data related to the current representation of these individuals on boards and directs the University of Illinois to study such data and make recommendations to improve such rep representation. Madam President, what the bill uh, essentially does is it's requesting that all publicly traded boards in Illinois report their uh, composition of their uh, di boards of directors to the Secretary of the State. The Secretary of State would then forward that information on to the University of Illinois. The University of Illinois would then do a study and then make recommendations on how to improve uh, diversity or whatever it deems necessary. I know of no opposition at this time, uh, and I would ask for all I votes. Thank you, Senator. Is there any discussion? Senator Ryder, for what purpose do you rise? I wonder if the sponsor will yield, please, Madam President. Sponsor indicates he'll yield. Senator Ryder. Thank you very much, uh, Madam President. Senator Bill, first I want to be clear, we're talking about we're talking about private companies, correct? They may be publicly traded, but we're not talking about state agencies or quasi-state agencies. These are strictly private companies, correct? Senator Bell? It would be correct. Senator Ryder. Thank you very much, Madam President. Uh, Senator Bell, the bill as amended would require the University of Illinois to collect data off of the Secretary of State's website and publish it in an aggregate fashion and then give each business entity a rating. Can you elaborate on the rating, what the point of the rating is, what it might look like? Senator Bell. Senator, the bill instructs the university to uh, devise a rating program. It's vague and it leaves it up to the university to decide how to do so. Senator Ryder. Well then, Senator, as the sponsor of the bill, what guidance can you give to the University of Illinois right here on the record about what it is you're looking for? For from the rating process, Senator Bell. On it's it's in the it's actually in the wording the language of the bill. It says the rating system shall consider, amongst other things, uh, compliance with the demographic reporting obligations in subsection C, the corporation's policies and practices for encouraging direct diversity in recruitment, board membership. and executive appointments and the demographic diversity of board seats and executive positions. Senator Reiner. Thank you, Madam President. Senator Bell, on page four of the on page four of the amendment, and I'm looking at subsections four and five. Those are the two I'm going to refer to. Uh, four regards members of the board 
who self-identify as a racial minority or ethnic minority. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I didn't know that you could self-identify as a member of a different ethnicity or race. So my question for you is, is in the instance where there is a corporate board that is all Caucasian, could half of them self-identify as minority and therefore receive a score as being diverse? Senator Bell. Senator Ryder, when they submit the annual, annual report, uh, they need to submit it to the best of their ability, as truthful as possible, or they uh, subject themselves to perjury. Senator Ryder. Okay, I'm, let me try that again. So, so this becomes law. And whoever gets assigned the unfortunate task of going around to each of the board members and asking them these questions, and if a particular corporation has a board that, let's say, is all of one racial composition, could half the board members say, well, I am of a race different than that which I appear, and therefore receive a score that would quite frankly, look better for them in terms of diversity. Is that possible under the language of the bill? Senator Bell. Senator Wright, the language allows the individual to self-identify and report to the best of their ability, as truthful as possible, what ethnicity they, or race that they are. If they intentionally yes. be misleading in their, in their response, then they are subject to perjury for doing so. Senator Ryder. Is there a form or an affidavit involved in this process, Senator, that requires each individual board member to attest to their answers under oath because that's the only way you get to a perjury charge. Holy crap. Senator Bell. So the form? So as it stands now, the annual report that corporations file has an affidavit at the end that already, as we speak right now, that already uh, requires them to sign off to that they're giving that information the best of their ability. Senator Ryder. Is that affidavit executed by the person collecting the information or the person providing the information in answer to the questions? Senator Bell would be the corporation that's submitting the information. It applies to the corporation, not to individuals. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Senator Ryder. Thank you, Madam President. In the next subsection, uh, it refers to generally the same issue, except it has to do with self-identification of gender. Now, we don't need to walk through the whole conversation we just had about that. I'm assuming my questions would be the same and your answers would be the same. Here's the question that I have with regards to that section and the one before, is that it's my understanding that it's against the law to ask those questions in an interview setting. Is there any legal concern that the person who gets the, wins the, loses the bet to ask these questions has in asking a board member these questions? In other words, I can't, if I, in, in an interview, thank you, Madam President, in, in an interview for employment, I wouldn't be asked to, allowed to ask someone the questions that have to be asked on this. What's the difference between that and asking the board member that? Senator Bell. Well, we've already talked to Secretary of State's office. Uh, they've already 
uh, indicated that they'll include an other or refuse to uh, a refuse to uh, category on the, on the form. And so, Senator Ryder. To the bill, if I might, Madam President. Senator Ryder, to the bill. Thank you very much, Madam President, for your indulgence. Thank you, Senator Belt, for the answer to your questions. Um, first of all, I, I think that this is uh, an unwarranted intrusion into the private sector. Uh, there's, there, this, this, is, this process is not about discrimination. This process is not about something that anyone is being accused of doing unlawfully. This is simply our desire to count in the private sector by race or ethnicity or gender or at least what those people say they are. Imagine, imagine in this day and age when we are supposed to be so careful about these issues that we are actually going to require board members of private corporations to answer these questions. And if they refuse to answer the questions, why are we doing it? You know, we have important matters to tend to here in this state government. Things that only state government can do, I do not believe that policing or attempting to police the private sector, not in making sure they comply with the law, but just counting their boards by gender and by color is a step too far for us. Thank you, Madam President. 